Jonathan, thank you so much for joining us here at Super Return International. Great to see you and great to hear you talking earlier about the tricky environment we're in for this business at the moment. How have you seen this space evolve and how has this industry evolved during that challenging period that we've been through? Thanks, Emma. It's great to see you as well and to see so many people here gathering again after, uh, well, we're still in COVID, but it's still great to see everyone. You know, I've seen a lot in credit over the last 20 years. The asset class has really evolved and matured from what used to be a very niche part of the investing space to something with characteristics that I think LPs can increasingly sink their teeth into to understand all of the different pieces and how they can play different roles in a portfolio. And I think that's the biggest part of the evolution that I've seen is that there is no one single credit asset class. There are a series of opportunities within credit and our business at Alcentra has really mirrored that with several different capabilities which all broadly defined our credit and yet offer some very different risk and return and liquidity characteristics. What are some of those interesting areas you're seeing at the moment that you would pick out perhaps to be where those opportunities lie? Sure. You know, one of our original businesses was on the liquid credit space and CLO tranches. Um, that space has really grown significantly post the GFC. Uh, and that's a place where you have thousands of issuers across the globe where you can really look for industry insights as, as we do to see which sectors are best prepared to weather the storms that we're seeing and which ones perhaps are less uh, well positioned for the times that we're in. Um, so that's certainly one of, the, one of the interesting parts of the market. And that must require quite specific expertise in your team too. So that's one of the things we've developed over time is deep industry expertise both in the US and in Europe. And I think that's one of the other interesting elements to our market has been that increasingly the market has, has globalized with the US and Europe and you know, ultimately in Asia, where you're able to really share learnings across these markets, um, whereas 20 years ago they were quite distinct and separate. So you're talking there quite positively about opportunity for our centre and you've announced big news as well. We have indeed. We're really excited about the combination with Franklin Templeton and Benefit Street Partners. It's really going to bring together a world-class combination across these two businesses, affecting all of the things that we do, liquid credit, structured credit, special situations, private debt. Um, the businesses are really mirror images of each other. Um, and so we're really looking forward to being able to deliver for our partners an even better suite of solutions for them as they try and solve their own investing problems. What do you think, you, you talked there about sort of your investors, what do you think people are searching for in this environment? Is it um, something other than just return? Is there a desire to sort of seek out purpose in investment at the moment as well, would you say? So I think there's a couple of, I would probably say there are three broad categories and they do overlap to an extent. I think there is absolutely a large income seeking part of our market and you know they're really looking to replicate the current income that for so long was present in cash or other fixed income. Uh, you know, as rates rise, um, those, the dynamic may change, but I think there's still a very large income seeking part of our investor base and the world. I think there's an opportunistic um, series of, uh, of investors as well who are looking, really doing relative value investing across their entire portfolio and trying to understand over the next one, two, three years which asset classes offer the best relative value. Um, and so, you know, I, I think that's another, a second theme. But the third would be maybe one of the things you're alluding to there is responsible investing. And I do think that our partners increasingly are looking for us to deliver something more than just financial return. Um, they'd like us to have a perspective at least on where we're, we are doing um, the most positive things we can for the world at large. You know, introducing things like ESG ratchets in our uh, private credit uh, situations to incent borrowers to electrify their vehicle fleets or you know, hit other targets on diversity, those types of things. People increasingly want uh, want to have in their portfolios. Credit's probably one of the harder asset classes for that compared to others, but we've seen a lot of movement um, in that direction. What would
would you like, there's 3,000 people at this conference this year, it's the, the largest in its history, what would you like people to go away thinking about and talking about having had a conversation with you this week? Yeah, I, I guess I see a lot of opportunity right now in the credit space. The volatility that we are seeing in markets, public and private, while it can create um, challenges in the short term as you understand what does it mean as, as companies are dealing with these, so often it creates really great investment opportunities. And I see that across our entire business. I think we have to take those opportunities and map them against what a partner is really looking to do. And I think that's something that Alcentra does really well, is look at what the need is of the investor and then construct the right offering to address that need. And what do you hope to take away from seeing all these colleagues again? You know, quite honestly, it is just great to see everyone face to face. I learn something every time I engage with one of our partners by the questions they ask, by the places where they are focused. So I want to hear what's on their minds. I want to hear what they're most worried about, because I find that often it informs our own investing views back, back in the office. Well, I hope you have some really interesting conversations in Berlin this week. Great to talk to you. Thanks for joining us. Wonderful. Thank you.